Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let's take a look at the science of a French drain and how it actually works. So we're going to build a French drain. We're using pure sand. This is play sand. It's dry, just pure sand. This is what we have here in Florida. So we're going to use this example first. So we build a little trough. Next, we lay some fabric in there. This is a fabric that I found that works so good. It works better than any fabric that I've ever used. It's called Stay Green. I'll put the link in the description box below. Here in Florida, we definitely need to wrap our systems with some type of geotextile fabric. And that's one of the reasons I like to use the Easy Flow. It comes self-contained. We're going to add a layer of gravel under our pipe. This is very important. The base of gravel under your pipe. This actually makes your system work extremely fast. Okay, cover this up and we'll start this experiment. French drain science. So during big event rainfalls, I mean really big ones, you know, water is just pouring maybe two, three inches every half hour or hour. And you can see how the water level goes down through the ground. Notice the French drain is not working. You can see it's, it's water level has now passed the bottom of the trench. Still no water comes out of that French drain. This is because this, the ground has to be saturated in order for the French drain to work. So now we've got another, you know, maybe an hour later, we've got another big two inch rainfall. Let's fill this thing up. Water still does not come out of that French drain. We have to have totally saturated ground before the French drain works. So about another hour later, here comes another a huge event rainfall, big one. This one's really got the water coming down. Watch what happens when we add more water to the saturated soil. As the ground fills with water, that's when the French drain begins to work. And although it looks like the water's coming from the top, it's not. It's actually coming from the bottom. As that groundwater rises up and becomes so full, it begins to push itself through that gravel into the pipe and is carried away. Let's look at it again. I'll just let the video run. Okay, let's take apart our French drain. There's, remember, it's saturated down below. And if I tilt this thing, you can see the water will come out. As soon as that water level gets below the French drain, it stops. But let's take it apart. And take a look. You can see we had capped off the end look how saturated the soil is see how saturated that soil is water 
lots of water down here. So whatever level you set your French drain, that's where your water level is going to be in the ground. It's just that simple. Let's take a look at the stone. Looking good. Remember, this uh, stay green is a landscape fabric, but boy, does it work. It works better than anything I have ever used. Probably the absolute best. Um, you can see even the sand doesn't really stick to it. Can you see that? Remember I've showed you how this stuff gets stuck against the sides of the fabric, but on this one, it works really good. So let's take this completely apart and we'll do it again with clay. See, it's like a sand castle. <laughs> this is wet enough that you could make and shape it into a sand castle. That's how saturated, that's how saturated the soil is. See that? And here's our French drain. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.